Today is day 68 of the Internal Family Systems Self Therapy Reflections, and we've been talking over the last several days about this module around anger and all of the different components to it. And today is the last module that speaks to this. And it really is going to be about a self reflection on forgiveness. And I see forgiveness as one of the greatest gifts that you can give yourself. And forgiveness is really important because some people have so many different views and ideas and definitions. Sometimes people look at this as a sign of weakness or surrender or giving up, um, but it's not any of that. Forgiveness does not mean that you need to condone behavior. You don't need to uh, appreciate or put a positive spin on some of the really, really negative or terrible things that happened to you in the past or when you were younger. It doesn't condone any of it. It also doesn't perhaps change the relationship that you have with the individuals who, who were the perpetrators or the people who created harm or caused harm to you. However, it does change how you feel about them and yourself. And it really is an opportunity for you to completely and wholly release that suppressed and disowned and that constant bubbling up of anger that is associated with those events and those people. And so instead of building up that negative energy and having it dissipate, you know, even in constructive ways, is you can actually utilize forgiveness, almost like a technology, to completely release that and to no longer have it. And I don't know if you've ever experienced that before, but when something becomes so automatic and it becomes a part of you and it becomes who you are, you don't even speak about it anymore because it just is. When you become somebody who is forgiven or forgiving, you no longer actually have that anger and you don't need to speak about it anymore. Being the strength capacitor or having that inner strength is just becomes part of who you are, your identity, and is really connected and in communion with your highest self. So really, this is a transference from the strength capacitor is being able to emit that energy, that negative anger away from you all together and forever. And so getting away from the negative mindset, the negative associations with the things, places, and people with those anger, with that, that energy and getting away from those negative thinking traps, the catastrophizing, the globalization, um, the, the, um, that feeling that, you know, everything is going wrong. Um, and it goes into a, a really terrible snowball effect where you keep rotating over and over in this negative viewpoint. And it allows, once you actually have forgiveness, it allows for a new energy or vibration or frequency within your energy chakras. So you can feel things like peace and joy and bliss and then just an, an open heart. And you'll actually feel the energy traveling through your body almost like you've never felt it before. It's a stream. And now you'll actually start to learn to actually float downstream as opposed to struggling upstream, which is really what an anger is. It's a, it's a resistance to what the world has for you. When you feel anger and resistance, you will know that you're, you will feel that in your body because it's going counter to what your highest self wants for you and what is in communion with your strength capacitor. So We've actually talked about the unburdening rituals or those internal shift work of being able to transform your protectors, um, to be able to unburden your exiles and to allow your disowned and suppressed anger to be rectified, to be slowed down, to be repossessed and to be transferred through forgiveness. And so we've talked about this, about writing letters, burning letters, punching pillows, um, wrenching on, on, um, uh, towels, kicking, screaming, hitting uh, things that are not real people, but doing it in front of somebody that you love and trust, you know, with somebody who's doing parts work with you or a therapist, or even on your own in a safe container in a safe place. So you don't want to push into the state. You can't push forgiveness. This is really just a natural progression. Once you've actually been able to do all of these processes with your protectors, exiles, um, the inner controller, the inner critics, the perfectionists, all of these different layers along the journey, um, along that process of the anger process. 
And so it really is this idea of the transforming from your anger piece to the strength capacitor, which is always in conflict or in polarization. And we talked about this many, many times ago um, when you are actually con conflicting, you have these polarized parts that are like almost like two different entities to you on your shoulder that is constantly in battling and you're sort of stuck in the middle. So the strength capacitor is the transformed version of the angry protector and the, um, the transformed part of your inner controller and your inner critic is the inner mentor um, and the inner champion, which we've talked about in several different sessions. And also the disowned angry part to you, the transformed component of that is the restraint and the forgiveness capacitor. So you want to be able to do all of these transforming, these unburdening, all of these processes um, to get them into the transform. So really the forgiveness capacitor and the restraint capacitor is not needing to go into that place and just to be able to forgive. So this is an incredible place of release and getting you to that next echelon of higher vibrations where you can start attracting all of the things that you want to manifest in your life the happiness, the people, the things, the places that you've always wanted. And when you can release anger and resistance, you can actually start to vibrate and attract those things into your life. So I'd love to get your comments if you've had an opportunity to do these reflections. And again, this is not something that's necessarily going to happen overnight. It may take days, weeks, months, if not years to continue these ongoing conversations until you can get to a place of forgiveness and to increase and to transform your suppressed and disowned anger part into the forgiveness and restraint capacitor. Leave your comments below if you've had success or if other things have come up for you, either positive or negative. We'd love to hear your story or your comments. Please feel free to like this video or share it with others who you think could benefit. I'd also really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And until next time, my friends, live unfettered.